Hey everyone, today we're going to look at a collection of some of the best new mods for Skyrim released in the past month or so. Let's start off with a new armor mod called the Highlander Armor. This set, I'm pretty sure, has some Scottish inspiration and it looks fantastic in game with a lot of great little details. The style also fits really well with the aesthetic of Skyrim. The armor itself is craftable and available for both male and female characters. The author has also made different versions for certain body mods, including CBBE, UNP, SAM, and the vanilla male body. After trying it out, I enjoyed the simple design, nothing overly crazy, just a subtle, well-made immersive set of armor. Staying with armor, next are a collection of mods by Zavbio, who has released a series of retextures for your favorite classic armors over the past few months. The goal of this series is to give these armor sets a bit of a facelift and increase the overall flavor of each one to feel more unique, and in my opinion, does so very well. I think generally speaking, newer armor mods have dominated in recent times, so it's good to see the classic armors from way back in 2011 get some love. I'm showcasing just a few of the current selection, but there are many more available on their mod page, and the series isn't complete yet either, with more to be released over the coming weeks and months. So if you are a fan of the classic Skyrim armors, definitely pick these mods up. Next is a spicy new mod called Sneak Behavior Extensions, a true prone system. This mod actually allows you to enter a prone position when sneaking, similar to other games such as Metal Gear Solid. When in the prone position, you can crawl slowly on the ground and even perform little side rolls. The animations do look a little janky, but it is Skyrim after all, and it's a great way to sneak up behind your enemies. Other than adding a touch of realism to your gameplay, it also inherently makes you harder to detect by reducing all movement sound and makes detection 50% harder. Great for getting up close to your enemies or evading possible detection. Now let's take a look at some new world building mods with a new mod released called Rin's Azura Shrine. Now the scale of this mod is immense. What used to be a pretty insignificant area to visit has been transformed into a sprawling set of ruins fit for a famous Daedric Prince. It also includes an underground area where pilgrims can rest and put their feet up after a long journey, as well as a completely new dungeon for you to explore, full of enemy draga and loot to discover. Also, because it's in a fairly secluded area, you won't require many patches, if any at all, even for larger load orders. I haven't installed a single patch and didn't come across any issues. Rin's mods are always fantastic and this one is no different, so make sure to do yourself a solid and add this one to your load order. Following on from that is another world building mod, this time from JK, called Windhelm Outskirts. This mod enhances and expands the area outside of Windhelm City. Given this is the Stormcloak Stronghold and the City of Kings, it's good to see the surrounding frozen tundra show some life. This lore-friendly expansion includes several new buildings, a Talos Shrine, and even some hawker hunting grounds by the riverside. This one most likely will require some patches, but there is already a patch collection that I will link down in the description as well. Then we have a beautiful visual overhaul of the Falma race with the mod called Falma Overhaul New Models and Textures. Falma are actually one of my favorite races in Skyrim, and contrary to some, the Dwarven Dungeons are my favorite to explore. Something about adventuring through a labyrinth of a dark, abandoned city always sparked my interest. And now these beautifully ugly creatures will be gracing their corridors trying to hunt you down. With their sagging skin and cursed eyes, they truly are a sight to behold. Some fantastic work here for a race that often gets forgotten. 
Continuing on with some new texture mods, we have an add-on for one of the best and most popular texture overhauls known as Skyland, with the new mod called Skyland Landscape Parallax. This mod adds the parallax effect to all the landscapes as part of the Skyland overhaul. Parallax is a visual technique that gives the impression of 3D depth. I know many Skyland users will be happy to see this update, and for me, I found the rocky shoreline look particularly great. I also think Skyland has the best rocky outcrop visuals, which now look even better. Of course, this mod will only work if you have parallax set up correctly with your MB. So just make sure you have all of the requirements and have followed their installation instructions. Otherwise, I recommend giving this mod a go. Next is a new combat mod called Dynamic Impact Slash Effects, which adds new particle effects to your weapon swings. This mod greatly increases the feel of combat and gives your weapon swing a lot more impact. The effect will also change depending on the type of enemy being hit, meaning humans will produce a blood splatter, Draga will produce some bone dust, and hitting dwarven enemies will produce sparks. These effects are of course visual only and will not affect your gameplay in any way. I've tried quite a few on hit effect mods and have to say this is one of the best. It also comes with several different options where you can select different color and sparks when installing. It also comes with several different options where you can select different color and sparks when installing. Another combat mod specifically made for first person also released called Comprehensive First Person Animation Overhaul. As the name suggests, this mod overhauls all of the first person animations with thousands of new ones. This includes all weapons, whether you are wielding one-handed, two-handed or dual wielding, as well as all magic, with some spells having unique animations for themselves, and movement animations such as sprinting and jumping that increase the immersion of movement. Altogether, it completely changes the feel of first person gameplay and is a very refreshing take over the old vanilla animations. It also does not require Nemesis or FNIS so it should be fairly easy to install for most people. And it also has a foam mod installer so you can enable or disable any animations as you want. And lastly is a quick new weapon mod featuring the spectacular Shimmer Dagger. You may recognize this highly detailed model and it looks fantastic in a game like Skyrim. Perfect for playing as an assassin. And that's it for some new amazing mods that released for Skyrim this month. Thank you for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Cheers.